Hello friends, how you doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. I'm here for a couple reasons today. It's Tag Tuesday and I'm demonstrating some BB Craft products. So super excited uh, to have uh, gotten these these tag dies from, or these dies, die, metal dies from BB Craft. I got, if you remember my unboxing, if you or if you haven't seen that video, I got these tag dies here. I already took them apart and have experimented with them. I got some square ones, which I have already taken apart. There's all the little ones here. <laughs> these were all together. And then I've got this shape here. Let's see if I can pick them all up. This shape here, really neat little, little shape there. And there's so many, right? And um, so I'll have the links to all the products I got from BB Craft under my video. And just to let you know, in case you don't know, they have a YouTube program. So if you have a, a channel and you'd like to try out for the program, you just have to have 100 or more subscribers uh, and go and I'll have the link below. You can apply for their program. And then um, also I'll have the products and a coupon for you. So uh, and tags for Tag Tuesday, I was making some tags with these uh these dies, so I'll show you what I made already. And if you'd like to participate, I'm the I'm the host and it's an open collab. You can just let me know, or you don't have to let me know. But if you let me know, I'll link your channel below. And if you, and then you can link my channel and when people can come, you know, below your video and people can come, you know, find my channel to check out check out all the participants. And also you can find the participants and use the hashtag so that people can find you. Um, hashtag tag Tuesday, right? And just like I have in my my title and under my video. So these are the ones, these are the dies I've used. I think I used one of each here as an example of what these dies can do. And I got these because I love them and I I wanted the I love the stitch it makes around the outside. So here's this is the first one I did. It's so cute. It's from a book page and we're gonna do some together. But can you see the little stitches around the outside? That's what I love. Here's a little square. It's from the same book. <laughs> little Beatles and Crickets story, children's book. And then this was from my Nature Flower, Amer uh, American Nature or something like that book that I picked up recently at a thrift store. So that was some flowers out of that shape. And then this is a little teeny flower here that I cut out. So that was all four of the shapes that I used, one die from each shape. So, and also, like I saw, I saw um, people using these dies on YouTube. And I, from the very first moment I saw them, I thought they were the coolest thing. And after that, one of my subbies sent me these, dot, these tags here, cut from tags, you know, dies like this. And this was a couple years ago, so I've been you know, loving these dies um, from the very first moment. And I saw them on YouTube and when I got these, I thought they were just so cool in person to see. I just love the shapes and the little stitches around the outside. These are made by um, one of my subbies and friends that sent me these by surprise a couple years ago. And I haven't hardly used, I know I need to use them and I, I, I will, I promise. This one's backed with in, uh, like a, what is it, index card looks like and here's the front and it has the little stitch marks and it even punches out that little hole uh, these were I guess these are little golden book pages or maybe it's a copy I don't know but even this right here uh, does this have it on it no that one doesn't have it on it look at this one so cute, right? And it's just a little simple little rectangle, but it's so cute with the stitches on there. <laughs> I just love these. So yeah, I gotta get those out and use them. But let's make some. So uh, let's see, I have, so the cool thing is, one of the many cool things about these is you can take one. You know, I have to make sure, I just have this little Sizzix side kit right now to use and you can take it and frame, see, you frame out what you want to punch out. So I'm thinking, well, this might be a little bit too big. I don't really need the word. I mean, it could be in there, grasshopper. I guess that's a grasshopper. But what if I don't want that word? Let's choose the smaller die. 
if I can grab it here and see what that looks like. I think that'll be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to cut this out. Now I'm not cutting it out exactly the tag, tag shape. I'm cutting out it out a little bigger than a tag shape because the, the machine actually cuts it out for me, right? So I don't have to worry about cutting an exact shape here. I just have to get it small enough to fit through my die cutter machine. And if you have a die cutter machine, of course, you know that. And your, yours might be bigger and you can cut it bigger if you want. <laughs> so, um, so uh, yeah, I've got my little, I've got a little gray plate here that came with my plates. So I've got that on the bottom. I don't know if that's right, but that's how I'm doing it. <laughs> because um, this, this little sidekick Maria sent me. And I've watched Mar Maria and... Um, Maria from Maria, Maria's Miscellany. I've watched her and I've watched a couple other YouTube videos. And I've done, you know, cut out some dies myself. So I've kind of like just kind of taught myself. So I could be doing something wrong, but this is how I've been doing it. So I've got that little plate, this little magnet. I ordered some new plates. Maria sent me plates, but I also ordered recently. Like I've had this a couple years now, right? And uh, recently just thought, well, let me order some new plates and just see what, what they do, if they're different or whatever. So I did. This gray plate came with a new one. So I'm putting this, putting, I put this and then the magnet, the magnet Maria sent me. And then the picture. And then my die with the stitches down. And so all the experts out there, Sizzix Sidekick or Sizzix Die Cut <laughs> experts can tell me if I'm doing something wrong. But uh, I've got my die there. I'm trying to make it straight as far as how it's going to cut out the picture. Okay, so about right there. And then this one magnetizes down. This flat side of the die that doesn't have the stitches apparently is the side that will magnetize onto a magnet. So I'm going to hold it in place and then put the magnet on there because the magnet, this magnet will make it move if I'm not careful. So I'm just kind of being careful putting that on there so my, my pieces don't move. And then this is the other. This is one of the new plates um, that I got these two right here. I've already messed this one up with a flower print. <laughs> I don't know what I did. I don't know, you know, I don't know what I did wrong, but probably did something wrong. But anyway, okay, there's my little sandwich, as I've heard Maria call it. And I'm going to put it in here and then just turn my die. This just sticks down. If you don't have, if you've never seen a Sizzix Sky Sidekick, this is probably an older one, but it has a little suction cup thingy on the bottom here that holds it still on your table so we're going to see if this cuts through if it was tight enough you know as far as because it has to have a little pressure on it and be tight enough when it goes through there to cut right so let's see if it was tight enough if it wasn't i might try the other plate the blue one because that's thicker so let's see how we did with these two plates okay so here okay it already came off see that this is the paper around it, so I know it was tight enough, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> Isn't that cool? So this is just the paper. So we're going to do one where, and it'll be a little tighter now, but this was this is perfect. Just the paper, okay? So I'm going to do another one where I glue it down to file folder. So there's the paper. Let's do one double thickness and pick out another picture here. Let's see what we have. Uh, I like that little book, but I will do a nature one now. Let's see, I'm going to need my file folder. So we're, this time we're going to glue it down to file folder. And that way it'll be like a tag that people can write on. And I can still put this on file folder or I could glue it right onto a page. You know what I mean? If, I, if you want a flatter piece that you can just glue all the way down in a little cluster or something. Um, you could use that. Okay, so I used part of this page already. Let's see. Let me get the tallest one here and see what we can do with this. Maybe we'll put it like this over these two flowers right here. That would be pretty. And we'll get a little bit of a description of the flowers too. Let's see, about like right there. Okay, so like again, I'm not going to cut out the whole, um, you know, I'm not going to cut out the shape. I'm just going to cut out this piece here. And I'm just holding the die on here so I can get it big enough. But I know that I do have to make it not too wide so it doesn't so it will fit through my little die cutter here. So let me see. That is a almost I just need to cut a sliver off the side here. 
Let me cut a sliver off. And then we'll glue this down. Let's see, is there anything on here? Not really. Okay. So we'll glue this down to the file folder. I'm going to try that. So, yeah, I can see myself making lots of little cuts here with all these die cuts and trying out all of these shapes and just having them ready to go when I am making a journal or some ephemera. And just, you know, it would be fun, really, and probably smart for me to go ahead and <laughs> just cut out a bunch and have them ready. I mean, you can use them in clusters and, you know, so many things, I'm sure. Once I get them cut out, I will just have them at my, you know, available to use. So there's that. Okay, so I'm going to just cut that out. Now, uh, and we're going to die cut this with these little, with these little dies. So yeah, be sure to check out my coupon and all the products that I have linked below. If you, especially if you go to order something, use my coupon so you can get five dollars off, forty dollars or more. Okay, so I've got my gray, my magnet my picture, my die cut. Okay, let's get this all straight. All right, I want the flowers. Let's see. Just trying to place the flowers. The most important part to me is the flower part here. Okay, so that about right there. And then this one, I'm gonna, wait, yeah, I got it right. The stitches are down, you know, we want the stitch part down on the picture or the paper that we're cutting. Okay, so there's the top magnet and here's the other plate. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up my little sandwich, put it in here and see what we come up with. Turn my little crank. <laughs> this little guy works, let me tell you. And this is, I don't know how old this is, but Maria got this at a thrift store. And then she got a new one and she sent this to me. So, you know, this one's been around for a while. I don't think they make the red one anymore. <laughs> so, all right, let's take off our, take apart our sandwich here. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how we did. Was it tight enough? Huh. So this one had a different second layer of the file folder, and this one didn't cut quite as good. I see, but it's just because I needed to make. I might have needed to use that other plate. This one's thicker, so if we have time, we might try one with that plate. I just let's see if it'll go through. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see. Let me cut on this side. Maybe I can see my stitches better here in the. On the file folder. No, it's still hard to see them. <laughs> but yeah, you get the picture. Yeah, we're gonna try the other, we're gonna try the other plate, see if that goes through with the two thicknesses. Okay, so there's my tag. I've got my little pokey tool or all here, and I can put that little hole right there. So there we go, another pretty tag. And it does have the stitches all the way around, even though I had to cut it. I'm gonna try it with that thicker and see how that does but um, see the stitches there aren't they cute I just love that whole look of the stitches and the, everything together there so let's try it with this other plate I want to really want to see if that is what I need uh, a thicker plate okay so that that plate would be on the bottom and instead of the gray one so I'm going to put that together and then we're, I think I'm going to use that same, now let's use a smaller tag this time. Uh, so that, and then let's pick out a flower. Let's see. And so I did two, I've done several flowers, but uh, let's see. need a page with some bigger flowers on here. Let's see what we have here. It's just a, oh, here's something. This one here would fit. Like that. Okay, let's cut that one out. You see, this is just not, nothing on the back there. Okay, let's cut that out real quick. And I think I'm going to go and get my Christmas paper out too and cut some of these. My Christmas, uh, or if you have a Christmas book, 
or a storybook, children's book. That would be cool to try this with some. And I might come up back with a separate video on uh, trying. I'm trying to cut it the exact, but I don't need to. I'm not trying to cut it the exact, but I'm probably cutting it too close. I don't really need to cut it that close. But yeah, I'm going to go get some children's books, uh, Christmas books, and see what I can do with these. That would be fun. Let me get that out of my way. Okay, so that's our picture. We've got the thicker plate. We've got the magnet. We've got the book page. We've got the die, and we're putting the stitches down over our what we want to cut out here. Okay. I just been trying to get it over the flower exactly how I want it to look when it's done, you know. Okay, there is a piece of metal right there. Hold on. Yeah, I've just been cutting off the extra metal from where they were attached with my little cutters here, my little jewelry cutters. This is a wire cutter here. Actually, I don't really need the wire cutter. I just needed to bend it and grab it with those. I didn't actually, I don't think I actually used the wire cutter part. But it does grab onto it really good because it has that little, you know, the wire cutter edge on it. Okay, so get my flower in the right spot. Now the other magnet in the right spot. Get my sandwich together. And we're going to see if this fits through here. I don't know if it will. It might not, though. <laughs> it might not. It might be too thick. Let's see. I think I need to reattach my reattach my little uh, thing here. Okay, there we go. Solid. Okay, let's see. Do I have to push it maybe? This is what I mean when it won't go through. It's just too thick. But I'm going to push it a little bit and see if it'll go through there. No, nope, it's just too thick, I think. See, that's why I use the gray plate. Okay, let's just take this one off. Put the gray one back on there. See, it's just a little thinner. Well, it's about half the size of that blue one there. Okay, let's see how this goes through. See, this is just going to go right through. All right, let's see how we do. This is just the perfect uh, thickness, I guess, with the gray. And I just can't use the blue one, two blue ones, even though I keep trying. <laughs> keep trying but it doesn't work <laughs> okay all right let's see okay it looks like it's already coming apart oh yay this one works so good and this one I didn't use that well you know what I didn't use the file folder on this one it doesn't like the file folder thickness maybe but it works perfectly with this paper I want to do one with the file folder though do we have time I think we have time for one more so that is that. I can always glue this down onto file folder and then cut it out too. I'll probably do that. But I want to do one with the file folder. One more. Let's do one more. I got to I got to try this real quick. Okay. So I'm going to pick out a quick flower. I'm going to use that same die. Where is it? It's right there still. And let me pick out a quick flower here. I've got a bunch of trash over here. I don't think you probably can't see. Oh, you can't see over here. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's pick out. There's so many pretty flowers in here, but um, I want to pick out a really pretty one. My really pretty ones are buried here. Okay, here's some prettier ones here. Let's cut out this. Look at, see these? Let's cut out something on here. Okay, here's my file folder. Let me get my die so I can see what these might, what might fit in here. Oh, this one's pretty right here, and it's like, well, it's over to the uh, side so much. That one would be pretty in there. It's like they're, yeah, I'm just trying to get the right size. I'm not going to look at the other side to see what I'm cutting off, because... <laughs> Then I won't want to cut this, so I'm just going to do it. You know how that is when you have something pretty on both sides and you don't want to cut it. Okay, not looking. I'm not going to let you see either. <laughs> I 
Okay, so this is going on here with some glue. Here's my glue. Oh, no, don't look. <laughs> I said I wasn't going to show you, but I have to turn it over to put glue on it. Oh, I didn't want to see that. Okay, whatever. It is what it is. <laughs> Get the edges real good. Okay, glue back down, glue this down, and okay, nice and solid on there. I think you do have to get this glued down good. At least that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, there's our piece. Okay, so we've got our gray plate, our magnet our double layer now this should cut out even better but we're going to see uh die cut with the stitches down let's see i'm going to i want this to make sure it's all on here it's all on the paper okay so it's all on the paper next magnet next plate we have our little sandwich. Hook it up, put it in here. Let me reattach. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna have a craft lunch. Okay. Ooh, it's tight. How come it's so tight? I guess that's good. It's gonna cut it better, right? And it's going through though. It's going through. All right. We'll see how we do. Oh, tight. <laughs> okay, it went through though. All right, let's take it apart. See how we did. The magnets are stuck, okay, to each other, you know what I mean, or to the metal. Okay, let's see, let's take it off, take it off, take it apart. So it's snapping, here, here, it's already snapped there. Let's see, not snapping at the bottom or the top. So let's go ahead and cut this. off it's cut part way through here that's why it cut so nice because it's already cut part way oh maybe i just have to i wonder if it's because of the glue you know that it didn't go all the way through i wonder if you let it dry will it cut better as far as going all the way through you know i don't know I'm going to have to do some more experimenting with this, but I will definitely be making a lot of these tags because I really love the look of this these dies. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> so, there we go. Another pretty tag. <clears throat> got glue on my finger, but there we go. Isn't that pretty? I've got the stitches, got the pretty book page, and on the back it can be, there's my hole punch there, but it can be a writing space, and then I can put a little something, a little string in there. Or then this can always be used as a little tuck spot, too. Or, you know, like a little pocket type thing. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that little demonstration. And uh, check out BB Craft and use that coupon if you do need something. And also check out all the Tag Tuesday participants because everyone as you know, is so talented and has such awesome ideas. So there's all the ones I did just for this uh, demonstration. And uh, I really love these dies and I can't wait to make some more, more tags. And I want to get out my Christmas and make some Christmas ones. So you'll probably be seeing those. Thanks for watching today. Have a great Tuesday and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting.